Hello and welcome to a new video about non-feedback controls. Last time we still talked about how we can display what we want to have. Now we're going into realization. The next few videos will be how we can realize the logic of the control, at least the logic of the control. We will start with the most simple control, a so-called linked control. A linked control, there's the controller, we have a bunch of inputs and a bunch of outputs. And they all might be on or off, zero or one. Okay? And in a linked control, the inputs are defining the outputs already. So if there is a certain pattern of zeros and ones, the output is already defined. It's just a combination of the, the inputs will produce already the outputs. It's, they are linked by some logic in between. Okay? This is the most simple control method. Yeah? If it looks like this, do that, and so on. For simple tasks, it's very suitable, because it's fast. Yeah? Because it's very fast. Also, for not that simple task, to only fulfill a part of the control task, this might also be a suitable way. Yeah? We'll start with an example. Start with an example. So, we are going to to see two cylinders. This is now our control task. We have two cylinders. Hydraulic, plumatic, does not really matter. One is the 1mm1, one, one is the 2mm1. There are on each cylinder two limit switches. Yeah, one PG1, one PG2, two PG1, two PG2. Okay. Input li the, the limit switch for cylinder is in, limit switch for cylinder is out. Okay. What we want to have, I will show in a step diagram. So Let's say here is one mm one. Yeah, here is one pg two. Here is one pg one. And here we have the second two mm one. Yeah, here is two pg two, and here is two pg one. The limit switches. Okay. Now, let's have a look on the, at the steps, how they look like. There shall be four steps. Yeah. Step one, two, three, four. And the movement shall be... First, the first cylinder shall go out. Then it shall stay out. Then it goes shall go in and shall stay in. Yeah? And the movement pattern of the second cylinder shall be, it shall stay in. When the second, when the first one is out, it shall go out. If this is out, it will go in. If this is in, it will also go in. This is our control task. Okay. Now, we can make a table of truth. Okay, we can make a table of truth with those four inputs to our controller. Uh, these are the inputs. The, the limit switches, 1 PG1, 1 PG2, and 2 PG1 and 2 PG2 are the inputs. Uh, so I'm going to do this now. 1 PG1, 1 PG2, <coughs> 2 PG1, 2 PG2. And I do not want to think too much because yeah? it's if you think too much, we do make mistakes. If something is really op is really uh, easy or really plan st standard plan, yeah, we tend to do 
less. So I will simply write all possible combinations of the inputs. Yeah? And I will start like in digital technique 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Hmm? I will always, always make groups of four. Zero one. Okay, the next one zero zero one one zero zero one one zero zero one one zero zero one one and the next one zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 and the last one zero 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 one 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 <laughs> and now let's have a look which ones are suitable okay so if no limit switch is giving a command this is red okay this can never happen okay if one pg1 is there and no other thing, yeah, okay, 1pg1 one might be there and no other thing. This might be during transition, okay? This might be during transition. Yeah. And also this, if only 1pg2 is there and no other thing, this might, this might happen if, tra if cylinder 2 is currently traveling and not touching this and not touching this. So this is also in transition. If cylinder 1 is in and out at the same time, this is for sure an error case. Yeah. This is for sure not working. Also here, what do we have here? Here is no signal, here is only one signal, might be transition phase. Aha, both are in. This is possible. Hmm. This is a possible case, I have to check. One is out and one is in. This is also a possible case, I have to check. Here, cylinder one is out and in at the same time. This is not working. Here, only one has a, has a status and the other one is currently traveling. This is transiently possible. In and out, this I have to look, this might happen. Out and out, this might also happen. Yeah. Here cylinder 1 has again two states, not possible. Here cylinder 2, and here always cylinder 2 has two states, uh, in and out at the same time. It's not working. Okay, so there are only four columns left. I have to deal with uh, columns, bars left. If one PG1, if both are in, yeah, what shall happen? Here, I'll write it with green. The command should be one mm one out. Okay. This is the command derived from this. If both are in, we are here. Both are in, then this should travel out. And here, what is this? Uh, here we have this is out. And this is in, so this is out, and this is this is exactly this situation here. Two M and one out. Okay. What we have here? One is in, two is out. One is in, two is out. Okay. Two M one in, <coughs> and here. Uh, one is out, two is out, one is out, and two is out. We shall retract one. One mm one in. Okay, so these are the commands, and this is the table of truth. And we trained this, we trained this during digital technique. Yeah. However, we can really easy see if this is. If I draw not a logical circuit, we 
1 bg1 1 bg2 2 bg1 2 bg2 let's see let's start here both are in yeah I'll make an end. This means 1 bg1 and 2 bg1. This means 1 mm1 out. Command derived from the input. Yeah. Then we have an end. These two, 1 bg2, 2 bg1, 1 bg1, 1 bg2, and 2 bg1, two mm1 out. Okay. Then we will. Is this the next one? Yeah. And what have we here? Two bg one bg two and two bg two one m mm one in and then we have finally the last one and and this is this one bg one. And two bg two. Two mm one in. Okay. And this thing here already does the requested task. Huh? This is already working. Maybe have a start command. Then I can do this here with the third input to this end, then it will not just start, it will only start if this start command is coming. Yeah? But once it started, I can remove the start command and will do its work. Okay, maybe it's also a good idea to also take in those things here, yeah? not not then we are more then we are more rigid yeah? not this is not a bad idea because if I really do it like that yeah? oh full this thing is full here <laughs> if I really do it like that that I make the whole combination, yeah? you could also do this, this, uh, De Morgan and, and, and Canot diagram and so on, if you like. Yeah? However, then you could also ask for the forbidden cases yeah? to turn on the lamp. Hey, hey, there is something wrong, yeah? error message and so on. We could also display the status. Or even with a timing element, for instance, uh, see the transient things. If they take too long, the transient things also turn on the turn on the error light. Linked things. Huh? They are pretty fast because they look at the input pattern. Book command is there. Also a benefit. It can stay however it likes. Huh? If it was in a stable state, at least, yeah, in one of those states, and it will do its trick. Yeah? If it stopped somewhere in movement, you have to do an initial button, initial command, which will bring this into an init position. Okay? This is probably also necessary, however, it's really easy in that case. Yeah? So you just have to press the button and Select the signal 2 mm1 in, 1 mm1 in. That's it. 
Huh? You do not have, in the, in the control itself, you do not have to take care about this initialization. Huh? You just have to be sure that this is moving to the right direction. And even if you're not, if it was a valid status where it was blocked, huh? then you turn it on and it will run at exact the same position further. Okay? So the problem is only during transition. Then you might have to use this init state. Linked control. You say, oh, oh, looks good. Looks good, yeah. So if you have two cylinders which will travel around, I can cover this. Yeah? Unfortunately, it's not that easy because if we are having things like that, yeah, I will do simply another pattern to show you the issue with this. So we are again one, two, three, four steps like before, four steps. And this is one mm1, this is two mm1. Yeah, so the same. I will not write now the limit switches, they are also the same. And we want to have it like this. Two mm1, it starts even the same. However, then it shall stay out. And then, huh? and the other one should do this. Mm -hmm. And then, if you try to make this with a link control, you will surely realize huh, that we do have the same, or we run into deadlock because we have two times the same status, you know, here we are out, here we are in, something must happen. Here we are out, we are in, the same situation, the same input pattern suddenly shall lead to another output. This is not working here, yeah? because simply we have the same input and expect another outcome. So I'm at the end of this possibility. How we can solve this? This we are going to talk about in the next video. Yeah. Next video we will see how we can deal with such things, overlapping commands, yeah. because these situations they called overlapping, überschneidung, signal überschneidung, signal overlapping, because it simply looks like the same, yeah. but shall do something different. Then we are going already into the sequence controls. But this then will be in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.